Hey, good morning. It's Steve. Man, I got an old lawnmower here. I'm always goofing around. Poor guy's begging somebody to come save it. But I've always wanted to be able to do something with this lawnmower. You know, we put that rototiller on here in the past, and, uh, man, I want to expand the capabilities of this lawnmower a little bit. I mean, we do have 20 horsepowers of Kohler perfection on here. What do you say we extend this pulley a little bit here? We'll put a spacer in here, add another pulley, and then when we're not mowing the yard, we can take this belt off of here and extend it out the front. And man, we can do something else with this lawn mower when we're not mowing. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to add a pulley to that PTO there. Man, I know this might seem silly to do, but, uh, you know, I'm dealing with a situation like this where I need to put a pulley on there like this. But, you know, modern lawn mowers, most of the time, this thing will be upside down on your engine like that, which puts your deck spindle like this probably have a, a shaft holding on to a pulley like this but either way go go to the store and get another one of these and just space so dude up above the deck and have this thing exposed you can put a safety cover on it but uh man once you get something else spinning on the lawnmower that you can add a belt to man it's no longer just the lawnmower you could do anything with it. I'm going to take the engine off this generator. We'll put that head out there. And we'll turn this lawnmower into a generator. I mean, how many people are actually mowing the grass when the power's out? Man, I don't know about you, but I tend to find that these old water heaters make great spacers. <laughs> you say we grab a hunk of water heater. Man, that's not too bad for a hand job. Ought to be good enough for a lawnmower. I did that on purpose. Man, you know the other day I was watching this guy subscribe to his channel. Bashful Garage. And he was doing a little welding. And he was worried about what people would think about his welds. <laughs> so man, let me show you something here that might make you feel a little bit better. <laughs> man, you know them haters, haters are gonna hate. Man, I think we can live with that. What is going on? Wow, that's hot. All right, now we reach one of these moments in time where we actually have to get serious. You don't want old dudes spinning like this, egg-shaped like that. Your belt will be loose, and then it'll tighten up and get real tight. So we have to get this thing dead center. Let me show you a quick little simple way of uh, doing that if you don't have any fancy tools. You already got a box of cutoff wheels sitting out here if you've been following along with me. So let's set something up here. Let me just go ahead and take out another one. Close the box back up. Set old guy up like that. Put you a cutoff wheel right there and pay attention to this gap right here. See how it got wider? Push him back in. Just keep doing this until you can rotate old guy around there and keep that space the same the whole way around. Once you think you're close, move your cutoff wheel in a little bit. This is the first thing we got to get. We got to get that pulley rotating concentrically with the... Uh, the original pulley. Let me get this done. Now watch what's going on here. The gap is good enough, right? It's just a lawnmower. 
but this poi. Wow, Steve. It's low right there. And there, it's coming up. Now you got to find a high spot. That's where you want to make your first weld. You either got to weld it there or you got to take a little bit off of this dude and get him a little bit level. You can't have too much. You, you, can't, uh, you can't do this for certain. Too much of this is going to be bad. Let's straighten that out by hand. Man, I took a Sharpie and marked the pipe there where it was a little high. And, uh... I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, there's uh when I cut it with the saw with the cutoff wheel, we got a hump in here. So I just take the grinder and grind him down a little bit. I'm assuming that uh, you know you're gonna do this in your garage with simple tools like I used to have. Let's knock him off of there and see if we can't make everything a little more perfect. And I think we got old dude pretty darn close. You know, I'm sure if we had a dial indicator, we could actually sit here and pick fly poop out of the pepper. But, uh, you know, it's a lawnmower. Let's get old dude passing down somehow so we can uh, weld it like a half-blind old man could do it. Hang in there. We'll set something up. Man, look at that. I'm stacking some dimes. I stacked a couple quarters in there. Got a couple pennies over here. I even put a 50 cent piece over here. Alright. I apologize for all that goofiness. Man, I got old dude mounted on the lawnmower again. Let's go ahead and start up the old Kohler Magnum 20 and uh, the wizard lawnmower here. And uh, let's see what how good we did. I got old dude heating up out there, warming up. Go ahead and get ready to make them wells look good. And I don't care what anybody says, that Kohler Magnum 20 is a nice motor. Engine. Good old guy painted here. got the old hood back on the old girl and man it's almost like they intended for me to do this I got plenty of room under here to bring that belt down in front of this and we'll go forward out here might even move the deck to the front of this lawnmower who knows what's gonna happen but hey got something on there rotating as long as it's rotating we'll do something with it it ain't just a lawnmower anymore all right you guys i'm done goofing around for today just nonsense on a, a day off thanks for giving me somebody to talk to and hanging out with me hope i didn't bore you too bad come on back if you want to see what i do with that pulley and I might stick one right here coming up. 
I need to mow along a creek bank. I'm scared to get too close with these riding lawn mowers. Maybe we'll put a wing on old dude. Alright, I'm done goofing around. Let you guys go. I'm out.